Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme Video, Friday, the 28th of January. Man, it feels good today. It's going to feel even better tomorrow. Nicest day, I would say, of the year so far. But uh, next week, hang on for some big changes. Skycam shots, first off, coming from uh, Birmingham, looking north in the Daniel Building, a cloudless sky. What a beautiful day. Everybody well up in the 50s, pushing 60 in some spots. That's a Coleman Skycam. That's uh, Lake Katoma, just east of downtown Coleman on a brilliantly sunny winter afternoon. And look at the sun glistening off the Alabama River in Dallas County. And that's the historic Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma. Well, the pattern beginning to de-amplify for just a little bit. The trough in the east, the ridge in the west is still there, but the de-amplification means a warming trend. Yeah, buddy, Tuscaloosa has hit the big 6-1. Birmingham at 58, and we'll be well up in the 60s tomorrow. Just maybe that NAM has been right. You know, it's been suggesting upper 60s tomorrow. Still don't know if we'll get there, but it's going to feel very, very mild. Around the nation, look at the surge of warm air coming up through Texas. Everybody in the 70s out there. The only thing, this makes you wonder if just maybe we might have some severe weather issues here Tuesday night of next week. Here's a watch warning map. Things pretty quiet. A handful of uh, winter weather advisories scattered about up north. And heavy rain potentially next week for us. Uh, The bullseye 3.2 inches between Monroe and Baton Rouge. And uh, this is suggesting maybe some 2-inch rains for West Alabama. We're clearly thinking 1 to 2 inches of rain now. Uh, mainly uh, the bulk of it will be Tuesday night and early Wednesday, uh, but some scattered light rain could form as early as Sunday. And this, by the way, is valid through Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock. And we thought we'd peek at the uh, uh, day 4 through 8 convective outlook. There's no uh, nothing out there now. But again, there could very well be a severe weather risk Tuesday night for parts of the Gulf Coast region. Let's take a look. This is the uh, uh, 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. Uh, a little Vortmax over Mexico is the one to watch. That might bring us some light rain Sunday, but boy, great day tomorrow. Absolutely. A, a good supply of sunshine. The GFS is beginning to warm up toward the NAM. It's showing 67, and the NAM is still at 69. So that should beat the 64 we saw back on New Year's Day. Uh, Sunday, that Vortmax is approaching from the west, and again, that could bring out some little, uh, break out some rain in here. And the models are still warm. Uh, we've got 60s on Sunday. We'll nudge the numbers up uh, both Saturday and Sunday. Here's Monday. Still some moisture. Not a lot of rain, maybe a little bit. But again, you can see the tug of war between that very cold 1,048 millibar high on the Canadian border with Montana and the mild air down here. And there's Tuesday. There's the big trough carving out west. Down below that, a surface low develops. Not too far from College Station, Texas. That could be a big snow for parts of Oklahoma and Kansas and the Texas Panhandle. And a big rain event breaks out. We'll go to Tuesday night at midnight. A deepening surface low is near Memphis. 1,008 millibars. We're clearly in the warm sector. And again, there is some concern. By golly, we might, uh, instead of worrying about snow this time, have to worry about a uh, severe weather outbreak Tuesday night. Just something to watch. Obviously, uh, right now, we, you know, mesoscale parameters always to determine the, the real severity of an event like that. And there's always in the cold season, the question is the instability. And then Wednesday, the surface low is near Cincinnati and it's on the way out. The rain is gone. We turn colder. Wednesday could be a day with falling temperatures. And then Thursday, we're cool and dry. The, the really serious cold air, though, stays north of us. And there's Friday, still cool and dry. Well, check the European, very similar to the uh, GFS, but it's farther north of all things. This is Tuesday night at uh, midnight. The uh, European has the surface low actually in southern Illinois, uh, down to the southeast of St. Louis, 1,004 millibars, and uh, clearly we're in the warm sector there. And that, if anything, would actually give us more time to destabilize and be in uh, a position to have severe weather Tuesday night. And then uh, we'll check the European on Thursday. Like the uh, GFS, we have cold air advection, but the really cold stuff stays up north. All right, let's go deeper. How about the 9th of February? Interesting look. Split flow. Big polar trough over the uh, northeast and uh, the active southern branch with a deep upper low at San Francisco. And again, energy in the southern stream, uh, that's suggestive of maybe some icing issues somewhere across the southern states, whether it's Texas or here. You don't know that, but... 
Look at that. Do you see the 1,048 millibar high shallow cold air with overrunning? Looks awfully icy to me. And on the 13th, there's a, a look. The polar jet is up north, the southern branch with a strong short wave. And again, that looks awfully wet. So uh, nothing else. Things look awfully interesting with a lot of weather active weather coming up here for the next couple of weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. My next video will be Monday morning early at 7. Brian Peters, the internationally beloved meteorologist, will have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. And of course, for your local to us, don't forget to watch us on the news tonight, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.